Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Barry De Pedal, the next gen RPM Piston Cup Racer number 64 from Cars 3. <clears throat> so before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Barry De Pedal is a next gen Piston Cup Racer that is sponsored by... RPM, the nighttime backfire suppressant, and bears the number 64. In 2016, he was one of the next gen racers to replace the older stock car racers for the sponsors. In in one of the race in 2016, on that same year, he made his debut at Rust Belt Raceway, and and in 2017, he was one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway of the 2017 Piston Cup season. During his diecast releases, he was first released in a Next Gen Racers 4-pack of 2017. But eventually, he, he got re-released as a single several times and, and as, as a regular diecast and in one single as an XRS Mud Racer. Which, I'm not a fan of the XRS Mud Racer. Blah! Anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his dark purple paint job and his angry, determined facial expression. No grill, just the headlights. And on the hood, we've got the Next Gen RPM logo. And on both sides, we've got the purple rims on the next gen black wall light your racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the number 64 and the few contingency sponsors saying piston cup combustor carbon cyber and synergy and on the black and we've got the black on the top and an orange number 64 no name signature the rpm logo on the spoiler and on the back we've got the rookie stripes in the number 64, no RPM logo, similar design but completely different. Now let's compare him to the other RPM racer, Winford Bradford Rutherford. Both, here are some similarities and differences. Both race in the Piston Cup for RPM, and bear, both bear the number 64, but here are some differences. Winford Bradford Rutherford, Barry DePedal, stock car, next gen stock car, 2005 RPM logo, 2016 RPM logo, and 2016 next gen logo, 2005 number 64, 2016 next gen number 64, yellow, purple, both have angry determined facial expressions, 64 on headlights, no number 64 on headlights, grill, no grill, ducktail spoiler, flat spoiler, RPM on trunk, RPM on spoiler, both don't have a name signature. Both have the exhaust pipes on both sides, and the gas cap, which I forgot to mention, blue rims on light black wall light year racing tires, purple rims on next gen black wall light year racing tires. 
Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octagon, Mood Sprints, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retrain, and Clutch Aid. Lesser sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. RPM logo on sides, no RPM logo on sides. Arrow at the bottom, no arrow at the bottom. RPM logo on back, no RPM logo on back. 64 on taillights, 64 underneath the taillights. Slogan saying nighttime backfire suppressant on back bumper. No nighttime, no slogan on back bumper, just the rookie stripes. And now let's pull up some of the other next gen racers that share his body mold. We've got Danny Suarez, Richie Gunzit, Steve Slick LePage, Conrad Camber, Paul Conrev, Kurt, aka Kurt with the bug teeth. Eric Breaker, Cam Spinner, Michael Rodor, and Herb Kerbler. And now let's pull up some of the other Team RPM members. We've got Winford, Bradford, Rutherford, the RPM Crew Chief, and Petrol Pulaski, the RPM Pity. Although there is one RPM racer to get, who, which is Bruce Miller, but who, I mean, I mean, who shares the same body as Brick Yardley, but unfortunately, I don't have him. Speaking of Bruce Miller, he has been released in in a ten pack three times, and has and hasn't been released as a single since it has been re hasn't been re-released not even a single since but there on the diecast packaging in, on the back of the diecast sing, single package of cars 1 chick hicks with the cars 3 chick hicks artwork it does show Bruce Miller's regular die cast on the very back, which it shows on one of Disney Docket's Hunt episodes. I'll leave the link in the description down below. But what do you think? Other than that, what do you think? Which next-gen racer that shares Danny Suarez's body mold is your favorite? And which Team RPM member is your favorite also? Let me know what you think, as well as and oh, oh, I mean, do you, I for, do you hope for Bruce Miller to get re-released, he's e and especially as a regular diecast in a single. Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which card to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that Barry DePetal here is from one of the Piston Cup Race 11 packs that I recorded previously. I'll leave a link in the description in for it as well. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!